Hey pals, Michael here with the Lens Pal, and as you can see, I'm on the moon. So I'm sure you know, I didn't just fly here. I got here using a green screen and even lighting from the Aries. Once we got the footage, we threw it into editing to key out the green screen and place the moon behind me. We chose the Aries for this task because they're some of the most powerful lights, giving us a rather large source of light. Another reason being the outstanding performance of color accuracy that comes from these lights. So let's show you how to set them up and then we'll talk about them a little bit. So the first thing you're gonna be grabbing is your light stand. Find the knob at the bottom that holds your legs together to untighten it and release your legs then tighten it when you're done and set it down. Then find one of the two knobs at the top to untighten and raise your stand. Next, you're gonna be grabbing your light. Make sure that the knob at the bottom is as loose as possible so it fits on the head of your stand. Place it on the head and tighten up the knob. When that's finished, you open up your barn doors. After you open your barn doors, you plug your light into your power source. Once it's plugged in, look for the switch located on the power cable, then switch the light on. So let me show you how we set it up to achieve this effect. We use one of our Ari kits which consists of four lights, a 750 watt light, two 650s, and a 300. We use a 750 and a 300 to light our subject. And in addition, we use a 2000 watt light and a 650 to help light the green screen. As you can see, the Ari's are amazing because they're very easy to set up and break down and very simple having one knob in the back used to spot and flood your light. The Ari's have been around for a very long time and are still being used today on productions and movie sets everywhere. I recommend you run an Ari or an Ari kit for your next production. You can find all that at thelenspal.com. This has been Michael with The Lens Pal, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.